My name is Rudy List. Anna Maria List, the student who was murdered last year, was my daughter. Anna was an orchestra student from the time she entered here in high school until she died. She loved Mr. Mark, and Mr. Mark was very fond of her. Oh, I've used those terms, love and fond. Must we now follow that as a lead toward impropriety, toward unprofessional conduct surrounding an inappropriate relationship with a female student, possibly toward illegal sexual activity? Must we tell? Miss, um, Mr. Mark was fond of Anna because she was honest, principled, strong-willed, and absolutely intolerant of racism. Anna loved Mr. Mark. Love. That wide word that describes nothing in particular. How did she love him? Much as she loved me. How do I know? No, I knew Anna in ways I knew her better than anyone else. Anna, to whom Mr. Mark at times gave a ride home at night. Oh dear, yes, they were alone together at night. Anna, who had only good things to say about Mr. Mark. All three of us knew exactly what was going on. And it was all good. Anna was half Asian. She could pass as Asian, but never as white. She was beautiful. But as an old Iraqi saying goes, even a monkey thinks its daughter is a gazelle. So glance at her picture on the internet and make up your own mind. It's easy to find. The suggestion that Mr. Mark has a proclivity for young Asian women that found its way to me through the fissures and slits of the social fabric that incubate rumor. What about that? And, that, and the suggestion that he must be dis dismissed in order to protect the large Asian component of the population that comprises the district. Do you think that maybe Mr. Mark didn't try something on Anna because she was only half Asian? That the victim would have to be Asian, not just be presentable as Asian? There were opportunities for him to try, but he didn't. How do I know? I knew Anna. That proclivity statement, who threw it out there? And why? Other teachers were fond of Anna. After she died, her Latin teacher throughout the whole time she was a student at Huron High School told me that she was his favorite student throughout his whole teaching career of 20 years and more. Must we now investigate him for his proclivity for young half-Asian women? And so on. To the best of my knowledge, the charges are based on innuendo, misrepresentations, half-truths, and distortions. Apart from the public... Apart from participating in a process that is clearly unfair, the board has done nothing wrong yet. But the district administration has done something very wrong, something immoral, something that, in part, could probably be ju judged illegal. Whether we glimpse more of this damaging folder all this evening remains to be seen. The most accurate description of these proceedings is witch hunt. Do not throw your lot in with the dark side with dishonesty, injustice, and corruption. Do not disgrace yourselves by taking action that will bring little but contempt from those you claim to represent. Do not rush to judgment. At least give yourselves time to consider Mr. Smart's side of the story, or have time and experience fail to check the shriveling of your soul brought by influence of the herd. Thank you.